Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to our YouTube channel or if you're watching this through Facebook, welcome. My name is Irving Pralta. I am the Associate Pastor here at Emmanuel Worship Center and we welcome you. Whatever time you're watching this, uh, you know, it's not a coincidence or it's not, oh look, I stumbled upon a great uh, program. No, it's it was all planned by God because He loves you and he is with you and he wants you to hear his word. So what we'll do is we'll read a scripture and then we'll kind of challenge you at the end of the, the, the uh, segment so that you can kind of think about what we're talking about. And today uh, we're talking about another big thing that probably, uh, not probably, I think all of us go through at one point or another and that's called pride. I think we all have experienced a moment in our lives when we're very prideful. I know I have, and so uh, let's see what God's Word has uh, for us today. And today we're going to read from 1 Peter chapter 5. This is one of his letters, and verse 5 and 6. So it says, In the same way, you who are younger, and, and it's talking to uh, anyone 99 and below, <laughs> those of you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. So this is just right off the bat, just kind of, uh, I don't know exactly what was happening during that time, but I can, you know, Peter always wrote letters with a purpose. And, and I can even only imagine that maybe during that time, the young people were kind of just looking at the elders and saying, well, who are you to tell us what to do? Well, it kind of sounds like today, right? I mean, you know, young people feel that they have the world at their hand, that, you know, if you notice commercials, if you notice any TV shows, it's just all about young people. And truly and honestly, what I've experienced and what I'm pretty sure those of you who are uh, older can also can say you experience is that when you are younger, you tend not to submit to anyone or to anything. And or sometimes we submit to the wrong things. But God here is clearly through Peter is saying, hey, submit yourselves to the elders. All of you clothe yourselves with here it is ready. Humility. Now, a lot of people think that being humble means to be weak, to be just trampled upon, but that's not true. Humility is not when someone puts you down and you just humble yourself. Instead, humility simply means I respect you. I respect you. I want to treat you just like I would like to be treated. I respect you, so I humble myself before you. Uh, it's, it's not a sign of weakness. Don't get that wrong. Humility is more of a sign of respect, respect for one another. And can you imagine if nations humble themselves one, to, towards one another? Uh, in other words, respect one another. We will not have the need for any of this crazy machines out there that can destroy us. But instead, the Word of God continues saying, uh, uh, clothe yourself with humility towards one another because God opposes. Listen to that close. God opposes the proud. So anyone out there, if you have had pride, if you have pride in your heart, God opposes you. And I felt that when I had pride in my heart, when I felt like I was it, I'm the one, my head could not fit through the door. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, in those moments, God opposes you. And I can tell you this, that at moments when I had pride in my heart, I, I felt that resistance, like I couldn't go anywhere until I let go of my pride. One of the great stories in the Bible is, is of uh, Saul um, before he became Paul. And the Bible says that when he encountered Jesus, Jesus the, 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 the power of, uh, of, of Christ appearing to Paul, to Paul, which was Saul back then, was that he knocked him off his horse. And I think that's where the whole saying, you know, we got to get you off your high horse. You know what I'm saying? Of people just looking down at others because they're so high. But instead, we should humble ourselves. Because when Christ encountered uh, Saul, he humbled him. And when he humbled him, man, when that guy, the first preaching, over 4,000 people got saved. I mean, incredible. So when you humble yourselves, uh, it says, uh, God opposes the problem, but you shows favor to the humble. So if you want God's favor, humble, humble yourself. Humble yourself before others. Pastor uh, Avelino, Pastor Lily gave a devotion the other day where they said, here's God's purpose for our lives, to love Him and to love others. And it form forms that perfect cross, to love Him and to love others. And if we humble ourselves, not just to God, but to one another, in other words, respect our, ourselves, respect each other. Oh, look at, to, look at verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand. And here it is. I love this. This is God's promise for you. 
that he may lift you up in due time. So if you feel low, if you feel uh, at the, at the, whether you hit rock bottom, just humble yourself before God, before one another, and he will lift you up. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I'd rather he lift me up in due time, of course, than me trying to lift myself up. Because I would always, I would always fail. But his hand will always hold me no matter what. Today, I challenge you to get rid of pride and humble yourself. I don't know what that looks like for you right now, but it might be humble yourself uh, towards your boss. Maybe humble yourself towards your spouse. Maybe humble yourself at church. Definitely humble yourself towards God. God bless you. Have a great day today.